two cousins. Right. They go to they go to the church in Montego Bay. They have been going there for years. Right. You know, so I always hear my cousin um, calling him like. Your highness, your greatness, your excellency. Blessed day, my viewers and my subscribers. Before me jump into the topics, may I beg you to hit that like button. It will be greatly appreciated. Now, the topics coming up in this video. A man head was shot off and sent to his family in Kingston, Jamaica. And some Jamaicans are shot by the gruesome act. Renita Adams react to the Mobe culture situation and sends a strong warning to Jamaicans. More congregants speaks out and said that the call pastor would require them to hand over their first paycheck every year. And the aunt of someone who died during the sacrifice at the church finally speaks out. So the first thing we're going to talk about, people, is a gruesome picture when we see Jan Ostar. And a lot of persons are react to it. And basically, a man head was sent to his family. His woman said, just imagine you're there your yard, only if you see you go outside and you see like all your brother head up on the ground. And you know, see the rest of body, you know, people. And basically looking at the picture, you can tell say them did a touch of this man or them did a beat him up or something because him face and them eye look black and blue. You understand what I mean? say? Now, a lot of persons are react to the pictures. I say, I go show you some of the comments I'm seeing, but I can't post up the picture. The picture they on Twitter if you don't want to see it. But of course, I can't put up an edited version which not really show nothing because obviously the, the logo cover up the part where you know that I probably want to see. You understand? That's what I say. But anyway, people, um, this took place in Dwayne Park, a place named Sherlock Crescent. I'm not sure if you're familiar with it. You understand? And um, basically, this is what the story says. A man said to be known as Yanni from Sherlock was reportedly K I L L E D and his head cut off and sent to his family. So, people, to be honest, I feel like it's a message they must send. Um, I don't even know if I'm the right person them get. You understand? I don't know if somebody do somebody wrong. But you know the famous saying, you know, if you can't catch Quaker, you catch the shot. So we don't know if it's a shot that them catch and them send that now as a message for you no know, say, yo, you know better watching yourself as well. You know, you understand people? But I get to some of the comments them now so you can see where some of the people them say. And boy, I tell you, say, people, <laughs> yo, them money are cool. So somebody say, the heart of man is getting evil. What kind of stomach you have to cut off a man's head? You understand? The next person say, my BBC, how it happened so? Give the family the body with the question sign. The next person say, Netflix no have nothing pan Jamaica. The next person say, Sherlock hot brother. The man they must send a message. The next person say, wow, that is some personal shit. And somebody tag baby sham and say, when sham did tell we say Sherlock no play, them never did a listen. You see me, can I know say baby sham and this him forward from you know people you see it. So boy, I mean I know if you say about this. As somebody say in the comment section, I definitely some personal thing this. Cause if you do that to a man and send it to the family members. Yo, this is not a play play thing. You see my people, but let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So I'll move on to the pastor now, people, because you don't know, say this is like episode six on the pastor now. <laughs> you see me where some congregants, I said that the pastor basically require them every single year for hand over them first paycheck. It almost seemed like this coming like definitely a TV series because every single day some people talk some things that make you look on them and wonder if them have sense. But anyway, let's get into this article so I understand what's going on. You see my people? So the article says, Pastor would demand first paycheck, member claims. For over eight years, congregants of Pathways International Kingdom Restoration Ministries here were hoodwinked into handing over their first paycheck that they receive each year. Speaking to the Jamaica Observer, one congregant who said he complied with this demand for years shared that if the money was not paid over by the end of January, congregants would be shamed by the leader of the flock, Kevin Smith, who called the offering first fruits. So in January, you bring in every single dollar that you make everybody do that and if not he is angry and curses you and tells you say you brought down debt on your family and on your house these are the tactics that he used and we believed him because these things we have seen them happen repeatedly said the man the congregant noted that though this money was not to be paid over to the leader in January there would also be a watch night service at the end of each year dubbed don't carry it over he called it a don't carry it over service in which he tells you the amount you should give so let's say two thousand 
2019, he said bring in $219, $319, all the way up to $2,019 US dollars, he told the Sunday Gleaner. These monies, the man said, were seen as payments for a blessing by their prophet, as they all witnessed firsthand the miracles he had performed. We have seen where people come, them deaf, dumb and blind, and they see, hear, and talk before they leave, and people walk just the same. I don't know. Maybe he used to plan it up behind our box with the people them, but we believe him for so long. The start of the novel coronavirus pandemic in Jamaica also brought along more requests for monies from the leader as congregants were encouraged to attain loans from local financial institutions, the man told the Sunday Observer. He told us to get loans last year. A few of us, he said that we are his sons and that we are ministers in training. So when we have different branches, we would be leaders of the churches but none of us get any loan and he was angry and he said that we are disobedient I didn't get a loan because at the time I wasn't employed by a company I was self-employed he said then came the request for them all to leave their jobs he told us to stop everything that we were doing and everybody stopped people left their work a lot of people also lost their jobs because the hotels were closed so people started to suffer after a while he told the Sunday Observer after struggling with unemployment for some months the young man shared he was able to score an online job with an international company to sustain the needs of his family. I got a job and I started working from home. The first two weeks pay was about $30,000 and when I got paid, I called the pastor and said to him, my father, this is the first pay I got and I know you always speak about the first fruits, so would this be my first fruit? He said to me, take care of your bills and later you can think about first fruits. The man said, when he finally settled into the job and started to make some big money he called the leader again as he believed he was now fit to pay his first fruits i can remember when i made about three hundred thousand dollars for two weeks and i reached out to him because it was my first time making so much money i was saying maybe it's the blessing from this man of god because he said when he blesses you you should remember where the blessing came from and he would use a statement that goes if you receive a cup of water in the name of a prophet you will receive receive a profit reward because he said that he is the prophet of God, the congregant said. He continued, so I brought $20,000 in offering. He wasn't pleased about it. He called up a few of us as males in the church and said that we should know that you don't give a prophet what you feel like giving him because if you give him something that isn't pleased that he isn't pleased with, then you won't receive a blessing. You should give him something that speaks to his spirit so that he can bless you more. Then the man revealed reveal came the request for him to offer a hundred thousand dollars each time he got paid the next time i got paid about four hundred thousand i reached out to him by message and said i don't want to dishonor you i think he told me to call him he said to me that a man of his standards the money that i am making is little bit but the least he would take is a hundred thousand dollars to show that i honor him the man told the sunday observer he said days will come when he will be able to give me up to two million he would say that he does not need our money because he is already rich. He is a millionaire in foreign currencies and we were like, that means that him not really want the money. Him just was blessed with them, he added. Months later, the man said he made a conscious decision to stop complying with the leader's request. This, he said, was met with resistance, and before he knew it, he was back in the other routine. He told me that because I am not following through, it means the devil will stand over me and take what he should get. So I believe him, and I said, boy, let me just obey away and say and carry the hundred thousand dollar go game again. He said he would always use tactics like he is trying to scare us. Like me say, this is going to happen to you and I see where people are coming to kill you. If you want to cancel this, you, your seed will speak for you, the man added, while admitting that these tactics force him to comply. Last Sunday when congregants believed what was a three-day convention turned into a nightmare after two members of the religious organizations were killed during a ritual, three others were injured, another member was killed by the police after he allegedly attacked the security forces with a knife when they breached the building. 
So yes, people, when you think about that, Zane, this pastor, you definitely know what he is doing. Him know how to get under them people your skin. All him have to do is tell you, look, if you don't comply with giving me that money, you don't know say this is going to happen to your family or you're going to bring down certain things upon yourself. You understand? So he basically manipulate them. Him know how to get to the people them. But the question I have to ask to you, Zane, I want you to listen to me, people, while listening to this video. Who is to be blamed, the pastor or the people them? Leave it in the comment section. Can remember, you know, if a man knows him can call one, two, three and chop a line and get a money, you know, what you think he might do? Chop a line, don't it? And when he broke again, what he might do? Continue to do the same thing. So, I know you understand what I am saying. The pastor understand um, so he can get under the people's skin, get the money, so he continue to do it. So, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So, I move on to ex-superintendent of police, Renita Adams, reacting to the whole Moby cult situation in Jamaica. You understand, people? So, let's get into this story. So, it says, Renita Adams, Moby cult behavior not surprising. Ret Retired Senior Superintendent of Police Renita Adams says the cutthroat religion practice at the Montego Bay Base Pathways International Kingdom Restoration Ministries should not come as a surprise. Adams, unyielding in his view, holds that cult practice is not a new occurrence in Jamaica. This cult behavior has always been around in Jamaica, some more severe and some more subtle. These things happen in Jamaica every day. It has been an ongoing phenomenon. It's just because of the media or because something extraordinary has taken place while some of them are exposed. Some people that want to get healing or to get rich or even to get a visa, they have to make people blood spill and kill a man and all them things there. Them foolishness they are going every day, Adam said in a recent interview with the Jamaica Observer. You know the lodge, you know the obia, you know the voodoo. Many of them demand very extreme conditions for you to be a member. He continued, Adams told the Sunday Observer that during his years in the constabulary force, he learned that criminals, especially those who had been charged and faced imprisonment, would turn to cults to seek their freedom. If you were to have a great experience with these criminals who have been charged with serious offenses, some have gone to Obia men and some people who profess to have supernatural powers, he said. They go to these people to do things to make sure that they are acquitted. You would be surprised by the things they do. They go and raid graves, they raid coffins, they raid cemeteries, and you would be surprised to know the level of society that is involved in these cults and the level of society that is involved in Obia, voodooism, and other forms of mischievous religious ideas. He further pointed to Alexander Bedward, a preacher of a Jamaican revivalism who was known as the Lord of Augustown and the leader of the Jamaica Native Baptist Free Church in the early 1900s in Jamaica as an example of how some Jamaicans have always been obsequious towards religious leader Bedward who told his followers to sell their possessions including own land and give him all the profits also convinced some 30,000 loyal supporters that they could fly back to Africa if they climbed into a breadfruit tree in Augustown. In demonstrating to the people he fell and broke his legs and had to be hospitalized. He would woo all his members and force them to gather up a lot of people and they would be all dressed in white. Adam said the police did the right thing. They went in and had these people arrested. I am only shocked in the sense that this was happening in the lockdown and the police never had the intelligence it would seem. And if not the police, other persons in the society should have had the intelligence that this was going on and have it reported before it reached the extreme it reached, he said. He theorized that similar activities may account for rising crime statistics across the island. People go and kill because they are told by these leaders that human blood have run. So all that can be a possibility, even if it is a small percentage that this is happening. I am not ruling that out. You see it, people. So um, basically, you must say a long time them things are going in a Jamaica from the early 1900s. So I talk some donkey years ago. You understand, people? So Jamaican should really act surprised on them things. You see me? And him compare it, the whole cult thing, to like voodoo and obi and them things. They can't know say a lot of persons believe in a obi. Them got the obi man. And when him tell you if you drink that, you drink it. And him spin around and him put in a bath and all type of things. You understand, people? So... Honestly, all of them kind of similar if you no look on it. Same like how this pastor man I tell the people them say if you do this and that and them believe it. I see me when you go at the voodoo man, him tell if you do this and that and you actually believe it. You understand what I say? So 
But no, no, still, what do you think about this? Because he said this might actually help for rise crime in a Jamaica. Because you don't know, say, certain leaders are going to tell them, say, go out there and do such and such if you want to escape from that or if you want to come out of debt or whatever it may be. You see me? They might go on and do it because they want to come out of debt, don't it? Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So I'm going to leave you know, with that Instagram live scene and the whole bloodshedding that took place at the Pathways Church the other day. Somebody who related to one of the persons them who died, a aunt, is actually speaking out. You understand, people? So I'm going to leave you know, with this video and you can tell more anything. I want you to listen carefully what this woman is saying because basically the same pastor brother they get exposed as well and all the other little things. You understand? But before I leave you know, with that, people, you don't know the thing, go. make sure you like this video, make sure to subscribe and turn the bell on and thanks to everybody for watching this video is me thanks for the support i'm out go ahead okay go ahead can you repeat again right my two cousins right they go to they go to the church in montego bay they have been going there for years right you know so i always hear my cousin um calling him like your highness your greatness your excellency i'm like why would you be calling you like your pastor, your highness. It's like this person, she has so much respect for him. Right. It's like he was their God, you know? Right. I'm like, how can you, you know, respect him? And they would do anything for him. Anything he tells them, you know, they believe it. Like she came to America and he was like, you are blessed and you will be achieving this and achieving that. But she has never told me whether or not they have to pay money for it. Right. Oh. But they were into him so deep that, like, if anything should happen to him, they would even give up their own self for this person. Yeah. So um, when I heard about this, this this story, my other cousin in Florida, she called me and told me that my cousin's son died in the church. I'm like, what? What happened? She said that he got murdered in the church. The pastor was doing a lot of sacrifice, and the son got killed in the church. Now, this cousin of mine who has this son, she lived she leave him with the pastor man right mm -hmm. and came to america to work on a ship or something like that mm -hmm. okay so now she left the son with the man mm -hmm. under his care right mm -hmm. and now she's in america she's not even there in jamaica she's on the ship working and her son is dead now the pastor was the one who killed his son but when when um the police went to the church and heard about the incident and went to the church the son drew a gun and shot at the police. So he had them trained in a way that they were there to defend him, mm -hmm. right? So when the police came in to arrest the pastor, he was one of them who was shooting at the police. So obviously the police shot him. So he got killed in the church that night. So, you know, I'm kind of close to this and I kind of know um, that, um, yes, this thing exists. Mm -hmm. And you know, my two family members are a part of it and their children. And she left her son with him. Right? And I don't know how can you leave your son. You can imagine what this man did to that poor boy. Oh, oh, old was, oh, old was the son? Well, he's now 18 years old. He's wow. now 18. But she left him there with him and he was the one who, like, go him up and go him and everything. And, and now that is what happened. So. So I, I don't know. I don't I'm, know how the government in Jamaica can allow. I heard that they are gonna let him out. How can they allow something like this to happen? So you or think you think any of those things? You have you have you think any of those things that have happened? Maybe um, with 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 your cousin going to the church or with your with with her son going to the church? Have anything as you know have happened that that thrown away to you and look very fishy to you to their date as this comes out? Uh, this man pick up a lot of marriages like. She, she left her husband. You know, this pastor man actually encouraged her to leave and come up here. You know, leave her husband and stuff like that. So, I mean, things like those, you know, when you should be building families and trying to keep them together, you break them apart. So did he, did he, did he, did he encourage her to come here that he could get more money or, or what the situation? I think so. If they work, they're going to send all that money to him. Okay. You know, because she, you know, when they work, they will send all that money to him, you know, so... You know, that's how much I know. Wow. But I really think that they should do something to it. You know, they can't just allow him to go free like that. That's crazy. You think you think that you think what I was saying as far as the property where the church is at his home, you think that, that the government they should they should demolish and that property are searching for I think they should demolish it, yes, I do. 
I think they should break it down and try to, I think they have bodies there because all these young people who have been missing and now you find out what's happening, you know, it's something that should be in question. I think they should go and really, you know, dig deep. They should dig deep into it and find out, you know, if there are any bodies on the property or Right. Because I watched my sister sent me a video this morning where he was giving out like a prophecy mm -hmm. and saying a dark day is coming for Jamaica mm -hmm. and there's gonna be doom and all sort of stuff. So he prophesied on himself. He knew what he was gonna do, right? He right. prophesied against Canada, he prophesied against America, and then he prophesied against Jamaica, saying that there's going to be a uh, doom coming at death and blood and all of that. Oh, you know that. You know, and then he was the one who, feel, who fulfilled that prophecy. Right. So I think they have been doing things, you know, for years and have it buried. So I guess I believe you that if they should go there and dig that up, mm -hmm. they will surely find something. Yeah, I want to I wanna thank you so much for your time. And if you ever get any more information, then feel free to call me and talk to me about it. Okay. We, all of us, I remember, every one of us have a role to play. We have to stay on it and we have to push it and, 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 and make our voice heard that something can be done. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. So, people, you hear for yourself. All of we have a role to play. And me, I call out to, me, I call out to Andrew Wellness. This is not blaming Andrew. Andrew, I'm not blaming you for anything. I'm calling out to the Minister of Security. I'm calling out to the police force. To please do more. There is more evidence there. There's more body there. It's not the first that man have sacrificed people. There's a lot of kids that are missing that this man is responsible for. Right? He's responsible for it. He controls these people. He tells these people what to do. And whatever he tells them to do, they're going to do it.